Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion, and we're going to be playing some Fractured Space. This is a new uh, free-to-play MMO ship simulation game by Edge Case. Um, it's currently on a free Steam weekend. It's not finished, it's still in development, so this is a, a beta build, essentially. And essentially it's a 5 versus 5 capture the flag style game. I don't know if other map modes are going to be introduced later on, but I would assume so. But we're going to dive straight in. This is the USR produced flagship, which is big and strong, and at close range does a lot of damage. So we'll give it a go. So while we wait for the match to start, uh, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner we have a map divided up into five zones. One at the bottom there is our home base, at the top is the enemy base, and between that is the no man's land we need to capture. Once you've captured a side, either the alpha or beta side, you have a route to the enemy base, capture that, and the game is over. So, we're already off. Looks like most of my team is jumping to Alpha 2. Um, we could just... Yeah, I'm going to go to Alpha 2. We'll see if we can't push through there very quickly. Now, it is a 5v5, so there are 10 players involved in this. Looks like we have... A, a that might even be a frigate, one of the slightly higher tier vessels. Up above, we've got not sure that is leading us. Might be a bruiser. So we've got some support craft. We're in our flagship. So this is actually a good combination of ships. We've got several. There is an enemy flagship directly ahead. He's too far out of range for me to do anything at the moment, though. But we can use our speed boost to try and close the range a bit quicker. We are fairly short range, so our cannon can't quite reach him. Looks like there's possibly a hunter up there, I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to launch our missiles, and we're going to launch our swarm fighters. There we go, cannon are putting on some fire. Activate our point defence for these incoming missiles. There we go, we're now at quite close range and he is taking a lot of damage. Hit him with a disable beam, doesn't really need it, he's pretty much dead at this point, but it might just help might finish him off. And there we go, that's our first kill of the game. Now, there was another enemy craft. Let's see if I can't get into sniper mode. There we go, he is down as well. Which means we are now control over half of this map. Over on the other side of the map, it it does look like we've only got one ship there facing off against two. We might need to go support that guy before he gets too swamped. If we capture Alpha and they capture Beta, we can end up in a situation where we essentially tr uh, trade bases. Fortunately, my disable beam is out of range there, but we can put some missiles on this guy. I think the cannon don't quite have the range for this yet. I'm going to hold position here while we capture this area. Missiles have reloaded. Fire off another batch of those. And we have disabled him. He's down. Okay. We're doing pretty well here. We are... Yeah, we are in a, quite a lot of trouble though. They are capturing Beta as quickly as we are. I think it might be time to uh, jump home from here. Once we've captured this base. If I join them in there quickly, we'll capture it that a little bit quicker. 
they're preparing to jump to the enemy base. Well, let's throw everything in. This is going to be a Hail Mary pass for the enemy base. We have the slight advantage. The slightest of advantages. Let's use our boost and get into the capture zone as quickly as possible. We have an enemy ship launching fighters and missiles. Cannons are firing. Point defense is online. This is a brawler. I don't really want to face him on my own. But he is going to regret getting so close to me. It's not really what you want to do with a flagship. I can take a lot more damage than he can. There you go. Hitting him for... Oh, good lord. <laughs> that guy is right on top of me. Wasn't expecting that. He basically put himself right up my ass. He did take a nice chunk of damage, though, so he might come to regret that. Fortunately, the other ship we had there is uh, attempting to jump home. I think he might have been killed there. No, no, he did manage to jump out, so he's gone back to the home base. Enemy ships are here. We will attempt to close and destroy them. There's one guy right in front of us. So, boost, missiles and fighters away. Let's see how close we can get to this guy. He's uh, He is boosting away from us. He probably wants to get clear so he can uh, jump without taking too much damage. You will take excessive damage when jumping, and especially, uh, basically you're just that much more vulnerable while jumping. If these missiles hit while he's trying to jump, he will take a substantial amount of damage, but he's, yeah, he's, uh, he did make it out. Let's jump to Beta 2, start capturing bases over there. So we didn't lose any of our base, which is good, and we did capture around a third of theirs, I think. But we do need to resecure uh, re this beta side. Our boost is still recharging, so I can't just rush forward. Okay. Now, if you noticed, our health on the left hand side is increasing slowly there. We have gained some fleet upgrades due to kills and experience, so. That's pretty good. Gas facility is the gamma sector in the centre there. Gives a good amount of bonuses. We have an enemy ship directly ahead of us. An enemy flagship and what I believe to be a hunter attack craft. Can't target him yet. Still going to be very far out of range. So we'll use our boost and see if we can't close that. Hunter might just be in range. He is jumping, which might very well be a bad choice. He fortunately did get out. I don't know if I missiles hit or not. While we're here, we'll back up and see if we can't capture... Ooh! Wow, while I looked away, Alpha has completely gone to hell. They are going to be jumping to our home base any moment now. Yep, there they are. Is it just the one of them? It looks like just one. Fire a long-range volley of missiles. See what we can do. Yep, he is in the capture area, but he shouldn't be able to do any damage because we've also got a ship in there. And he is trying to jump home. Yeah, he's just going to rabbit. it. Yeah, he's gone. He did take a lot of damage there. 
Now, there looks to be a fight forming up in Gamma, so we'll jump over there and support our friend. He's currently two on one, which doesn't bode well for him. There we go. Right, he's disabled. Missiles, fighters, engine boost to get myself in a bit closer and start putting on a lot of damage. He did sure where he went. This guy, however, looks right. He's dead, chose the wrong moment to try and jump. This guy is very close to us. What I want to do is get out of range of his forward guns where he's got the most firepower. And I'm hitting him from below and behind where I believe he has the least armour. This guy did blink. missed with my disable shot there, which is a shame. Now, out of range of my cannon, missiles are probably going to miss him, I think. Ooh, he did take a lot of damage there, though. We have lost about half our health. Let's see if we can get in there and capture the Gamma Sector. Someone, we've actually got a couple of teammates in Echo, the enemy base. I'm not sure if actually that stands for Echo. No, that must be for... Sorry, I'm just getting confused there. That must be for... Enemy. So... Oh, they're very close to losing that. We have now captured the gas base. Now, I can't actually get directly to the enemy base. So... I'm going to pull back to Alpha and help out there. There we go, we've got another flagship here. The allies we did have in the enemy base have been destroyed, I believe. So, the two of us are going to see what we can do. I am quite badly damaged though. I possibly might need to pull back to the home base and defend. We are very close to winning. Sometimes these games drag out a bit when one side can't get a clear advantage. But we will see. I could use my boost, but I want to hold it for the moment. If something jumps in, I want a bit of close with it quite handily. There are three allies in this area now. So I'm going to jump home and get myself prepared. Fortunately, I don't think anyone's flying around in a uh, in a support corvette, so they haven't been able to help uh, repair us at this point. So if I can just get, side, get us inside this blue area Yeah, they're pushing directly to A1. And they might well have this in the bag without any assistance from me at this point. There we go. We're inside the field. We will now start healing up. Yeah, and it looks like they are jumping through. Yeah, they're all jumping to the Team 1 base. There they go. Appearing there. Someone is capturing uh, B2. And they're probably going to be heading this way quite shortly. So we might have a little fight on our hands. Unless they all head home to retreat, which is really what they need to be doing. We're fully healed. I'm going to jump to Gamma. Oh, and... <laughs> As I say about doing that, we've actually won the game. So, there we go. That was our match of Fractured Space. Uh, we got three kills, we died once, we have two assists, and we captured three areas. 
Not my best match, but not bad in the flagship, which is a cr quite a slow ship. Uh, all your base belong to us, says one of my team members. And there we go. So yeah, this is still in alpha, so they do like to remind you of that occasionally. And we should have the post-mission report here. So yeah, we picked up a nice little bit of experience for that. And we got some in-game money, which we can use to spend on upgrades. So if I show you quickly how that all works, if I can close that menu. So for the flagship, uh, you can go into change loadout and you can purchase uh, different items. So we can change our flak cannon to uh, photonic charges, which uh, works in a similar manner to the flak system. Uh, basically there's a trade-off. It's a more powerful charge, it's got a heavier payload, but it's a reduced rate of fire. So it's a kind of, you know, you'll do more damage with each shot, but you'll fire fewer shots. Uh, so you can upgrade pretty much every system you've got. So for example on missiles, um, the radio missile system fits a circular pattern of missile launches around the flagship. Oh, okay. So I believe that means you'd get off all your missiles in one go rather than kind of firing them one after each other. Yeah, they lo each launch a single missile in sequence. Okay, so that could be quite interesting to purchase. Uh, swarm drones or slow drones or plasma drones. Yeah, so there's a lot of upgrades you can choose and it depends on what kind of playstyle you want. Uh, there is also the tech tree. So for each of the three uh, manufacturers the flagship being from the USR, United Space Research. Um, we can then move up to a disruptor, which is a support craft, uh, the sniper, which is a long range attack craft, the brawler, which is a very short range attack craft, and I've been killed by those many times. Uh, you have the destroyer, which is basically the heaviest ship in the game, I believe. Uh, it's slow, but it's extremely powerful. And you have the assassin, which can cloak itself, uh, disappear from your screen, and uh, attack with a very powerful uh, one-shot weapon. Uh, Zarek Industrial has the Hunter attack craft, and you can then have the Enforcer attack craft, or the Frigate, which is a light attack craft. Apparently it's very fast. And Titan Defense Systems have the Support Corvette, which has a very good healing beam, uh, the Reaper attack craft, and the Equalizer support craft. So, we've you can see here what I've earned for each of the manufacturers, and I can choose to upgrade another 300 points, and I can get myself an enforcer or the frigate. Be interesting to see how fast the frigate is. That might be fun to play with. Uh, and you can also play around with your crew if you want to replace someone. You'll have different options as you hire people, and you can see there plus 350 hull strength or plus 400 hull strength, 5% base resistance, 4% base resistance. So. As always, a little bit of a trade-off, depending on what kind of... Do you want more resistance, or do you want more basic hull strength? But yeah, that's Fractured Space. That was some flagship gameplay for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. You know, Leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.